Namaste. We are with Gautamji once again for our new series, Reflections on the Sai Satchara. Gautam, thank you so much uh, for your time as always. Gautam, today I would uh, like to sh- uh, discuss a Leela of Baba's with you, which is in Chapter 19, in which Baba climbs the ladder of uh, Radha Krishna Mai Ma's home. He goes on to the roof and comes down. And this is when he was actually very frail. This is a little before his Mahasamadhi. And just some time before his Mahasamadhi. Yes, yes, at that time Baba was very frail. You know, they actually had to hold him and he would then walk. And at that point, he came to the home, asked for a ladder to be brought. She was not very well. Then climbed to the roof by himself, no support, walked the other side, got the ladder there and came down and gave two rupees to the gentleman who brought it and even said, don't take labor of someone without, right. you know, uh, paying them for their service. So there were many aspects to this story, I felt, which were not that easy also to understand. And... I used to keep contemplating on this since years. And one day, when I was reading the Gospel of uh, Ramakrishna Paramahans, there was a paragraph that uh, just stood out for me. I mean, I could not say that was pointing exactly to this, but it was so similar, it almost were like was superimposing like to perfection. And I felt I can just read that out sure. and then ask you for your views on this sure. leader. So, Ramakrishna Dev, uh, in chapter 12 of the Gospel, there is are a few paras where he makes this statement. A man should reach the Nitya, that is the Absolute, by following the trail of the Leela, the Relative. It is like reaching the roof by the stairs. After realizing the Absolute, he should come down to the Relative and live on that plane in the company of devotees, charging his mind with the love of God. This is my final and most mature opinion. Hmm. Most beautiful. So, I felt Baba's whole life was symbolic. He would not say anything. He would show in symbolism through his leelas, through his messages. And for years, this leela would sort of something I felt there is so much more to it. And this, when I read, I said, it, I'm not saying this may be it, but it sort of brought something up. Yes. yes. You see, there are two things here. One is, when Baba climbed the ladder, was on the roof and came down, there was an audience who saw it, right? Otherwise, it would not be recorded. So he didn't do it for himself. He did it as a demonstration, one could say. And like you said, when he was unwell before his Mahasamadhi, not when he was young and fit and strong, right? And now Ramakrishna Dev, what you have read out is, in fact, the perfect overlap. You see, this ladder, Nick, is actually a phenomenon people have seen in their spiritual visions. It is the ladder of consciousness, the climb up to the divine. It represents everyone's potential. The ladder itself is a very significant symbol. The rungs of the ladder are levels of understanding. The rungs of the ladder are like the seven chakras of the body, or rather six chakras, the seventh being the sahasrara. From the base level of survival and living to the higher levels. You know, like from the Muladhar, Swadhisthan, Manipur, which is living from the gut, then the heart, then here we should be, then the eye of singularity, not the eyes of duality. These are the rungs of the ladder and the sahasrar merging with the divine. Now Once that journey, that potential is fulfilled when the ladder is climbed, right? Now, one has to come back to the earth to live the life spiritual. 
तो इन सिंपल टर्म्स इफ वी ओवर सिंप्लीफाइड जस्ट फॉर अंडरस्टैंडिंग सपोजिंग आर स्पिरिचुअल जर्नी टेक्स अस टू दिस अंडरस्टैंडिंग दैट ऑल द इज इज ब्राह्मण एवरी वन इज एन एस्पेक्ट ऑफ द डिवाइन नाउ वी हैव दैट अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑल इज वन नाउ इट हैज टू बी लिव्ड we have to climb down the ladder back on earth to live it how would we live it if i live my life without blame condemnation conflict jealousy envy hatred malice if i live my life without these attributes then that divine knowledge is brought down to earth to live the teaching to live the divinity and that is why baba has shown this to us climbing up being there but coming back down to i would say live a life of enlightened living otherwise you would have just stayed on the roof <laughs> i mean it's very significant also sorry to interrupt you here gautam Himard Pant in the commentary, I think in the beginning of the Satcharit makes continuous reference that there are many kinds of siddhas and saints. Few come for their own elevation, born to reach the absolute and depart. But few are masters like Baba who come get into Maya. As Baba would say, although he is the absolute, yes. take on the sufferings of others yes. to elevate them. And this kind of masters are very rare. and total compassion incarnate yes otherwise who would want to come back <laughs> i mean you know once you merge with the divine light yes. you have no interest on descending back yes. down on so it's only compassion which does it a compassionate heart like baba's to even subject oneself to all this and also one other aspect gautam ramakrishna dev put say this that the ordinary jeeva if he even by chance gets elevated and reaches samadhi in 21 days the body drops it is only an incarnation of god that can come down back and stay in the plane of relative existence after having realized i mean they are the absolute but uh, that is another big distinction that baba has shown that he is coming back and that too i'm basing it on what ramakrishna dev has said because i cannot say by certain means this is the only meaning this is what i'm seeing sure, at this point exactly, in time exactly but it is the fact that baba has come down also shows he is an incarnation because he said very clearly ramakrishna dev that an ordinary jeeva once they reach the absolute the body drops but only a incarnation can come down very true in fact that is why i say it is said that for many people the moment of enlightenment is the moment of death because it's a explosion you see yes. it's a big shattering and our normal body mind organism cannot take the impact so to come back down only a high level master can do that Which, and also uh, makes me really reflect on himar pants commentary as well like in the initial uh, chapters you know where he emphasizes again and again that the compassion of baba and the masters to for the elevation of mankind otherwise uh, he said there are many who are in the mountains and you know who reach these states but uh, this is a very uh, i mean just for us also to reflect on their compassion and grace yeah really it reminds me of i don't know if i am repeating this but the kind of folklore myth you could say about yes. the buddha yes when he reached the gates of heaven and the gatekeeper said master we are rejoicing that now you're finally with us do come in and the buddha said no and he said but we have waited for millennia for you to enter these gates we are all lined up for you in celebration and festivity and joy and he said no so the gatekeeper was shocked he said but why he said not unless those who are following me allow to enter before me compassion compassion this reminds me of uh, swami vivekananda who was a 
disciple of Ramakrishna Paramhan, he had mentioned something beautiful as well. He said, Shiva is pleased with those who put everyone else in the line to him first and they want to go last. Exactly. Because this is otherwise selfish that only me and my elevation right. and let everyone else be. So it just reminded me of that, what you shared. Yes, because as Ramna Maharshi said, there are truly no others. So, compassion is a natural outcome of the awakening, one could say. If compassion has not happened, awakening has not happened. Then it's still me and the mind. My awakening won't work. Because it is the me which is the problem, you see. 